Welcome to this first video tutorial on Microsoft Excel Basic to Advanced Video Series. The objective of making this video series is to make you professional in Microsoft Excel. If you are totally new in Excel and want to enhance your career in Excel-related jobs, I request you to watch all tutorials chapter by chapter. I will also provide the practice workbook files when required. In this first chapter of Learning Excel, I will explain the basic introduction to Excel, methods of opening Excel in computer, and the user interface of Excel. First, look into the introduction. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet application developed by Microsoft Corporation. It is used across any kind of organizations and personal level for managing the data and information. Suppose you are working as an administrator in a school or college and want to maintain the database of students, you can use Excel. If you are a shop owner and want to keep track of bills issued to your customers, keep track of inventory, and keep track of customer data, you can use Excel. If you are an individual and want to keep track of your budget and personal expenditure, you can use Excel. If you work in a hospital and want to keep track of patients' data, generate lab reports, etc., Excel is there for you. Not only keeping track of data and information, Excel enables you to analyze and visualize the data using powerful functions, formulas, and tools. So, Excel is an all-in-one solution for data-related works across different organizations of any industry. Having sound knowledge of Excel adds value in your career development and personal growth. Let's jump into another topic that is methods of opening Excel in computer. There are multiple ways of opening Excel in PC. First method is click on the start button. In the program list, you can see Excel if it is pinned. Click on it to open. If not pinned, search Excel in the search bar, right click on it and click on pin to start. Now Excel will be visible in program list. Second method of opening Excel is press Windows plus R key and keyboard. In this run dialog box, Type Excel and click on OK. This opens Excel software. Third method is you can generate a blank workbook directly in the desktop or any other folders. For that, right click at blank area of the desktop, click on New, then click on Microsoft Excel worksheet. This creates an Excel workbook, rename it if you want, then double click on it to open. Move on to next topic, that is the user interface of Excel. User interface is the main screen of Excel application where we actually do our work. For this, first open Excel. This will open this welcome screen. All the details of this welcome screen will be covered in a different chapter. Here you're focusing on the basics, so click on this blank workbook to open the main screen of Excel. The window you currently see is the Excel user interface. Here you will learn what are given in the user interface of Excel. At the left corner, there is an Excel logo. Beside it, Auto Save Tool is given. If you turn this option on, the change that you make in your Excel sheet will be automatically saved. No need to press Ctrl plus S in keyboard or click on the Save button when enabled Auto Save. However, this Auto Save feature is available in Excel 2016 version and later only, and you need to log in and have active internet connection. Beside Auto Save Tool, there are some most frequently used tools like Save, undo, redo, etc., which is called the quick access toolbar. You can customize the tools that you want to keep here. Suppose you use print tool more frequently, you can add it here. For this, click on the small button here, then click on this quick print tool. Here you see the quick print tool is added in the toolbar. Similarly, you can add more by going to this more commands button. To remove, deselect it from the list or go to more commands, select a tool, then click on remove. Beside Quick Access Toolbar, there is the file name of the Excel workbook, which is given as Book 1. Next to File Name, there is a search bar where you can search for different tools of Excel. For example, if you want to find Name Manager, type Name in Search Bar, then Name Manager is suggested here. Moving on to top right side, there is User Logo in the name of which Excel is registered, My Benefits tool which shows the features and benefits included in your subscription. Next to it there are Minimize, Restore down and close buttons. Minimize button will keep Excel in taskbar by making it invisible in screen. To get it back, simply click on the Excel logo in taskbar. 
Click on Restore Down button to keep Excel in a small window. Click on Same button again to make the screen full size. Click on Close button to close the Excel application. These Comment and Share button are used to see the comments used in the workbook and Share button is to share the Excel workbook to other users. In the second layer of Interface, there are different tabs given. These are File, Home, Insert, Page Layout, etc. Within each tab, there are different tools given. The tools are kept inside this white rectangular space, which is called the ribbon. Below the ribbon, there is a small rectangular box, which is called Name Box. The Name Box will show the names of the objects that you select in Excel. Beside Name Box, there is the Formula Bar. Formula Bar is used for writing, viewing, and editing the formulas and values. Below the Formula Bar, this white part of grid is the actual working space in Excel, which contains the structure of row, column, and cells. The structure of row, column, and cells forms the working environment where we can enter our data and information, do calculations, analysis, and visualization. These horizontal lines denoted by numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, are called the rows. These vertical lines denoted by alphabet like A, B, C, D, are called the columns. At the intersection point of every row and column, a rectangular box is formed, which is called the cell. Each cell has its own name or address, which is given by the column name and row number combination. Suppose that if I click on the intersection point of column B and row number 7, the clicked cell's name is B7, which you can see here in the name box. Cells are the actual container of data. In every cell, we can enter different types of data like the numbers, text, symbol, images, formula, etc. Below the grid area, there is sheet 1 given. In one Excel file, multiple sheets can be added. To add the sheet, click on the plus button next to it. At the bottom right part of grid area, these lines are the scroll bars. Click hold and drag them to scroll the grid. You can also click on these small buttons for scrolling the grid. Below the sheets, there is a status bar. This shows various information related with the data that you are working with. This you will see after entering some data. At the bottom right corner, there is a zoom option. This is for increasing and decreasing the size of grid area. The optimum level is set to 100%. To modify the size of grid, use the zoom in and out. The side zoom option, there are different view options like normal view, page layout view, and page break preview. So that was all about the introduction, methods of opening Excel, and the user interface of Excel. In the next chapter, you'll learn how to do basic data entry in Excel, formatting the entered data, how to use basic formulas and functions, and the basics of data visualization. For the exercise of this chapter, Try to open Excel using different methods in your computer and see the components of user interface. Depending upon the Excel version and Windows operating system you are using, there might be minor difference with what was shown in the video, but the core concept is same. If you have some questions or queries, please feel free to write in comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next chapter.